Witch Trials Weekly, Video 7, February 26th to March the 3rd, 1692. The First Examinations. Welcome back. As Abigail and Betty got worse, they started blaming Tichaba. Adults would start suggesting names in an attempt to identify who was torturing the girls, and the girls confirmed some of these names. At this time, Tichaba admitted to baking the witch cake, but denied being a witch. Anne Putnam Jr. identified Sarah Good as the specter pinching her, and Elizabeth Hubbard identified Sarah Good and Sarah Osborne. Sarah Good, as we told you in an earlier video, was a beggar woman, and Sarah Osborne was living in her first husband's house with her second husband, who had once been her bond servant. A scandal back in 1692. On the 29th of February, Anne's father, Thomas Putnam, his brother, Edward, Joseph Hutchinson, and Thomas Preston, son-in-law to Rebecca Nurse, went to Salem Town to issue formal complaints against Sarah Good, Sarah Osborne, and Tichaba. Arrest warrants were issued, and the three women were brought to Nathaniel Ingersoll's ordinary the next day for examination. Hannah Ingersoll would examine these three women for witch marks. She found none, although later on, William, Sarah Good's husband, would say that he found a new wart on his wife's shoulder that he didn't notice until the night before. These examinations were only the preliminary stages of legal action. Judges John Hathorne and Jonathan Corwin came from Salem Town, and Ezekiel Sheever took notes. During the examinations of Sarah Good and Sarah Osborne, the girls suffered from fits and outbursts. Sarah Good's examination was first. She tried to deny mumbling something under her breath at the Reverend Paris when she and her daughter were begging there the month before, saying, I did not mutter, but thanked him for what he gave my child. But people thought that if she had not muttered a curse under her breath, then she had mumbled to her specter to go and hurt the girls, since they became afflicted shortly after this visit. Because of the way that she stated certain things, she was seen as suspicious and thus held for later trial. Sarah Osborne was next, and she had said that she was more likely to be bewitched than to be a witch herself. She had denied knowing Sarah Good, which wasn't true, and she also was surprised when the court said that Sarah Good had said it was she who was hurting the girls. She told the court, I do not know that the devil goes about in my likeness to do any hurt. This was the first time spectral evidence was ever questioned during these trials, right in the beginning. She also said that she didn't go to meetings because she had been ill. The girls said that she didn't go to meetings because a lying spirit told her not to. Sarah Osborne was also held for trial. Tichaba was last. It was at this time that Tichaba stopped denying things and told the court about seeing the devil and witches that we've told you about in previous videos. We've later learned that all of the things Tichaba confessed to doing and seeing were actually things that she was beaten into saying. When the girls started seizing in the court, Tichuba said that she saw the specters of Sarah Good and Sarah Osborne, and Sarah Good was the one causing these seizures. Tichuba was held for later questioning. Sarah Osborne and Tichuba were brought to the Salem jail, and Sarah Good would be brought to Ipswich jail the next day. Elizabeth Hubbard was tormented again that night, saying, There stands Sarah Good upon the table by you with all her naked breast and barefooted, bare-legged. Oh, nasty slut, if I had something I would kill her. Little did she know, Sarah Good had actually tried to escape where she was being held the night before, leaving behind her shoes and stockings. She had to turn back because it was too cold for her and her baby to continue their escape. The next day, while Sarah Good was being transported, although she stated that the court had no evidence against her except for what Tichubo was saying, she tried to escape three times and supposedly at one point even tried to kill herself. Judges Hathorne and Corwin went to Salem jail to continue to question Sarah Osborne and Tichaba. Tichaba added to her confession at this time, stating that there were nine names in the Devil's Book, two of which were Sarah Osborne's and Sarah Good's. Because her confession time and time again was consistent, it made Tichaba more believable. And if you ask me, this is one of the things that led to the witchcraft trials growing and spiraling out of control.
This video was produced with special permission from the author and publisher. This chronicle covers the years 1692 to 1697 in detail. It also touches briefly on important and relevant events before and after this time. To get a copy for your personal research and enjoyment, please visit our store at the link below.